Yeah, that, he, that has stamped out one for him. Absolutely. You know, he, his activity allowed him to have the 25 points. And uh, he had no defensive rebounds the other night. And, and we lost the rebounding battle by 11. And tonight we won it by 13. And, and that was the difference in the game, our second chance points. We had 15. And, you know, that, that enabled us to, to get a lead and, and hold the lead. You know, our rebounding continued. And uh, it's the first time that, you know, the second half, you know, we did better than the first half defensively, percentage-wise and points-wise. So, you know, a lot of positives there, you know, for the guys. I, I, I thought they bounced back really good. I thought their focus was much better. Um, you know, we got contributions from our bench that, that we didn't get at Baylor, you know, uh, for whatever reason. So uh, just a, a much better team effort tonight. How critical is Grant on the uh, Well, it, you know, it's critical for every team, but you know, last year it definitely was the difference when we didn't play well, and and I think it's going to be the same this year. You know, if if you got guys like Jordan and Chris and Cavell and Roman, and and when Dylan Brooks gets back and Dylan Ennis is physical, Tyler's tall for a guard. Uh, if you're not beating people on the boards, you're not taking advantage of your athleticism. You know, and and so I think it's it's you know, that's where we should have an advantage. You know, it's it not about staying even this year. It's about we should have an advantage there. So I, I think it's going to be critical for us all year. You know, I think it's our goal should be a plus eight or nine on those boards for the season. And I think if we do that, um, you know, it, it'll be really positive for our team. And I I think we'll have, if, if we don't rebound well, you know, what happened the other night, you know, could happen to us more often. Well, you know, like I said, I, I thought they were much more focused tonight. Um, energy level was better, you know, knees bent, active, running the floor better. Um, I don't think we gave up a transition basket in the first half, which, you know, they're a good transition team. So uh, those are all indications that, you know, we were much more ready to play and guys were much more involved. I don't, you know, we, we, we can't have that drastic of a difference road and home. You know, there, there's no excuse for that. And, and uh, so um, hopefully our vets will get them ready to play and, and our leadership uh, will get better um, uh, so that, that we can have, you know, better effort. You know, playing six games here in, in the first 13 days of the season, um, you know, it's, it's energy, it's leadership, you know, and, and traveling to Baylor and unfortunately we you know we get great support from the university we were able to charter to Baylor you know we wouldn't even been able to you know have energy if if we weren't you know back and we, we don't charter very often I mean we, we charter when we can't fly direct but uh, I thought that was I mean it didn't help us much going there obviously but I think it helped us tonight you know if if, if we would have had to go commercial yesterday uh, we, we'd have been in really trouble here tonight but uh, I thought our energy level was good so um, now we, you know, we jump on a plane tomorrow night out of Portland and, and fly to Maui and uh, practice a couple days. And, and hopefully, you know, we, we get our 11 o'clock game over there uh, Monday morning. Coach, are you going to take time for any thoughts on Alex Peters? He, he's a really good player. I mean, his skill level and, and his ability to inside, outside, uh, put the ball on. He's a good passer. Um, you know, he's he's a guy that, you know, can play in any conference in America and be a really good player. Uh, uh, I just, I love his skill level. I love his toughness. He came in averaging 26 and 10. And, you know, I mean, he's uh, just an all-around player. And uh, his loyalty to Valpo is is commendable. You know, he, he could have went anywhere in the country as a graduate. And, and he stayed at Valpo and, and played. And, uh, you know, I, I know that means a lot to their program, and you know they're they're gonna they won 30 games last year, and they got a lot of those guys back. They're they're gonna win a lot of games this year. You know, I I thought we played really well tonight. You know, we five for 12 from three. I thought our sh shot selection was better. Uh, again, running the floor, eight eight to nothing transition points in the first half. I mean, we did things a lot better than we have done in our previous games. So I thought we played good, and and. Uh, uh, you know, they gave us a heck of a game last year, and, and uh, we were ready for a heck of a game this year because we, we know they're well coached, and 
I like their team. I like their guys. I like their toughness. How much better was the ball moving tonight? I know you were really frustrated with that. Game. You know, I thought it was better. I, you know, I thought we got it into the middle of their zone better, kicked it in and out. You know, again, we didn't have the quick threes. We were seven for 21. We didn't shoot it great, but our footwork on our shots were better. Uh, timing of them were better. So uh, much more organized tonight than, than we were, much more patient tonight than we were the other night. With all the things he does on the defensive end, do you guys feel like you're in a pretty good position when you tell finish with seven for 13 from the floor too? Is that kind of crazy for you guys? Well, you know, his, you know, his future and, and after he leaves here and here is defense and rebounding, his athleticism. But when, when he gets that little jump hook going and runs the floor and, and offensive board putbacks, uh, you know, then he's, he's really something. You know, and, and I thought he did a good job defensively. Uh, heck, you know, the fouls he got half the time he was covering up other guys, you know. So, um, no, I, I liked his effort. Uh, I thought he had, a, he had a solid game. We, uh, you know, continue to do tests. Uh, you know, he's he's been working out with us. Uh, he's practiced some, uh, but you know, uh, it, it's not just like he comes and plays. I mean, he's been out July, August, September, October. Okay, he's been out four months, four and a half months. Um, you know, so you know, it's not like you just click it. You know, I mean, it's it's a slow process, and and believe me, I'm not going to rush it. You know, I've, I've got my instructions from Dr. Jones, and, and we're going to watch him, you know, as he continues to work out. And at some point in time, he will play. But um, it is, it's, it's going to be totally Clay and Doc saying there's no doubt in their mind that his foot, you know, and his foot is healed. It, it's, now it's just getting the rest of him after being out four months, you know. Uh, so I don't know if he'll play in Maui. We will see how he continues to make progress. If he does play, it won't be very much. There are a lot of factors that go into the success of Maui. Um, you're on the beach. You're, there are those distractions off the court, but then you have to factor in three games, three days, which is uh, as if much as you can play already. What do you do differently? Do you take a different approach to how, how much you play beach, play beach time? Well, there won't be much beach time. Uh, they'll, they'll have a little bit on Saturday. You know, and then that's it. You know, Sunday, you know, we play at 11 o'clock, and then, you know, whatever time we're going to play on Tuesday, Thursday. So uh, they might get to go to the beach a little bit on Saturday, or yeah, Saturday, but that'll be it. You know, we're, you know, we're going. Maui's beautiful. Those of you who've been there know that. And, and uh, uh, it's a great tournament. We're really excited about playing in it. But told the guys, you know, this is a business trip. You know, we're there to, to play, and it is tough playing three, and the heat you know, and, and uh, the humidity. So our bench is going to be really important. Um, those of you who have watched the tournament before know how hot it gets in there and, and the sweat and everything. So bench is going to be really important, uh, keeping the guys fresh, you know, and uh, uh, Georgetown presses a lot. So at that first game, uh, they'll get after us and, and, and it'll be really tough. So um, we just got to go, you know, we, We've had some success in tournaments over the years with uh, the conference tournament and, and other tournaments. So uh, I'm hoping like heck that, that the guys will be ready to play. Have you guys scouted tournaments like this? Like how this is the first time you guys have been playing in this? Obviously, you guys start putting together tape. Oh, yeah. No, no. The guys have been working on it. Um, you know, I, I try to just work on one team at a time. But uh, uh, the guys, you know, the, the staff is divided on teams for our bracket. Um, and and so I'll work with. I think Kevin's got Georgetown, so he and I'll get together and, and work on Georgetown. The other guys are already working on Tennessee and and uh, Wisconsin, who are in our bracket. So I'll work with one coach on that game, and then whoever wins, I'll work with that coach on the next one, and and we just make the progression that way. Do you think tonight was kind of the, uh, the level of the team you play, or is there? Well, I liked our intensity and I liked our focus. Oh, there, there's so much more this team can grow into. I, um, and that's why I was so disappointed with just our approach the other day. I mean, it, it, uh, we're, we're, we're better than that. That was a national game, and we just new guys were bad. Vets were bad. You know, coach was bad. <laughs> we were just bad. So 
Um, I'm, I'm glad the way they bounced back. Um, but now we got another national tournament on the road, you know, and and so we we got to we got to prepare. You know, there's no excuses now. We 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 got one out of the way. We've got to go play, and you know, uh, the guys. You know, I, I told them Dylan gets back. Dylan gets back. We we got to quit using that as an excuse. You know, there's there's no excuses. You just go play. Whoever's available, you got to play. And uh, uh, yeah, Dylan will give us a lot. He's a really good player. He's really good competitor. But you know, we, we got to go win games without him. All right. Thanks.